get this, you love Formula One racing and you just won the lottery. Do you invest into a company that makes kinetic energy recovery systems? Yes or no question. According to Top Gear, Volvo, JRL, and Lotus all plan to start using Curse as a future technology. So where else is Curse being implemented to? Well, there's current researchers on bicycles and motorcycles that want to get Curse implemented into their vehicles. Vroom! How enthusiastic is F1 in, in getting Curs to their cars? Well, let's see the 2019 F1 rule changes. New front wing, new barge boards, new rear wing, all of these. Did they change anything for Curs? They didn't. Not one single thing. So what keeps companies from using Curs? Well, the current power to weight ratio in batteries is just not worth it. Hence why there's no electric planes flying around the air besides one. All right, our back battery technology, it sucks. It's just behind. The packaging issues that come with Curs is, is too much of a struggle for companies these days. Back in 2009, this was the price range to get a Curs system into an F1 car. Nowadays, there's way better ways to get more efficiency out of your car. Right, introduced in 2011, uh, it was the drag reduction system. We uh, found it a more valuable option than the kinetic energy recovery system. This is the rear wing. It shows that with the drag reduction system, there's more airflow which uh, brings 69% drag decrease and 58% downforce decrease, less Y and Z force. And that increases the straight line speed by 15 to 16 kilometers per hour, which is the same as a kinetic energy recovery system, but much cheaper and much more efficient. Here's a DRS in action.